In this arid land, in the far northern region of Cameroon, are fishermen and their families in search of peace. No longer catching fish, but planting trees they sell at the market. At least in this barren land, they are sheltered from the violence they left behind, living in makeshift tents provided by the UN. We have to survive with the little help the government is giving us. But we don't have any money. We can't work. We're surviving one day at a time. This is what is left of their homes. What started as an argument between a fisherman and herder about a cow drinking out of a fishing pond turned into a larger fight for access to water. The violence spread from village to village, displacing nearly 100,000 people. Some fled to neighboring Chad and are unable to return home. They live in UN camps like these. Of course, we need to make sure that people are not hungry, not thirsty, and they are not ill. But in the end, it's reconciliation that is the most important here. Armed herders in Kusieri, on the border with Chad, search for water points to feed their cattle, fighting with fishermen and farmers unwilling to share their wells. The government of Cameroon has called for dialogue, but those who've been displaced say the state has done little to stop the violence or help them. To survive, the displaced fishermen are hacking down trees. They sell the wood or use it for cooking. The few patches of free trees are being cut down just as the rainy season is about to start. Host communities accuse the displaced of destroying the environment. If the government takes their responsibility, then we could return home. This is a conflict made worse by a changing climate in what has become a fragile and inhospitable environment. So essential to life and yet so precious. Water has become a resource worth fighting for, tearing apart communities in northern Cameroon. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera.